Yo, my people, how's everybody doing? I hope everyone's good. Hey, it's been a long time since I made a video on this channel. I don't know if you guys watched my last video that I made on this channel, um, which was the update video. I did say whatever we do on Twitch, I'm going to do a summary type video on here. Michael's lying. He's lying, boys. He's lying. From now on, it's going to be a select few manuals. Reason being, I can't spend all this time editing this for every single stream. So from now on, we're doing it for selective big manual, like solo leveling, beginning after the end, demons of dragons, and many, many more. Come watch us on Twitch if you want to be ahead on manual, cause this shit takes so long, I might just take a couple days to edit these. And last night we read solo leveling. If you weren't there, you missed out. You better be there tonight if I do stream. If not, it's gonna be on Wednesday. I'll let you guys know in the in the little community section. However, we read some heat, some H E A T heat. It was a heat wave of us reading solo leveling. Um, we're back at it. So today I'm gonna give you guys a short summary of everything we read last night on solo leveling. Get your snacks. Get your popcorn. It went like this. Chapter one, we find out about a kid named Sung Jin Woo. Initial reaction, we see him huffing and puffing and there's blood. At this point, you're like, oh shit, what's going on? <laughs> Yo, my nigga bleeding. It turns out he's an E rank hunter. And this man here is actually the weakest hunter in the association. And from what we initially can tell, he is in a weird predicament at the moment. It looks like there's bare giant statues walking towards him. At this point, we don't know what's happened, but we can tell that this man here is going through it. He has bloodshot eyes. He's crying blood. This is insane, bruv. It's insane. And as this man was about to get decimated by the statue, we found ourselves in Seoul, South Korea. It looks like a beautiful place. I'm not gonna lie. This man here is my man Sung Jin Woo when he's not bloodied up. <laughs> Aside from him having a slightly better build than the average person and somewhat fast rate recovery, he himself would call it an embarrassment to call himself a hunter. He's had to risk his life as a hunter. Um, being a hunter is a dangerous job and he doesn't do it because he likes it. For the people that have never, ever seen solo leveling before or read it before, you must be wondering what this glowing image is. And we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> but first, let's go back to Sung Jin Woo. He still has more to tell us. Sung Jin Woo has a sick mother who he's, who he's barely managing to pay the medical bills for with the aid of the Hunter X Association. There's always a lie at the end of the tunnel because my boy Sung Jin Woo has managed to get greeted by this fine specimen called Jo Hee. Her and Sung Jin Woo seems to be very close. We then get to meet another interesting character. Who puts himself forward to be the leader of this raid? With him being one of the most experienced and skilled, they all agreed to have him be the leader. So then the raid begun. The raid has just begun and this man, Sung Jin Woo, already needs someone healing him, proving to us that he is in fact the weakest hunter of mankind. But you know, my girl Jo Hee is coming in clutch with the healing. So obviously every time Sung Jin Woo gets injured, she's there to help back the beef and, and heal him. While Sung Jin Woo's getting healed, everyone's putting in 110%. Just emming off all these beasts and everyone's dying. The raid is going good. For a bit of context, I feel like I should tell you guys how people actually make money in these raids. When you defeat a beast, you're awarded an essence stone. That's what my boy Sung Chiyu was holding here. Even a C-ranked magic beast will get you an essence stone worth over 10 million won. However, an E-rank hunter like Jin Wu is far off from being able to fight a C-rank magic beast. And with that being said, my man only manages to get an E-rank Essa Stone, which is barely worth anything, you know? As everyone was counting the rewards and treasures, another member of the raid found something within that dungeon. And the something I'm talking about is called a double dungeon. So when you begin a dungeon, the gates of that dungeon does not close on, unless the boss is defeated. Knowing that Mr. Song Chiyu, as the leader, decides to convince the rest of the group to go into the second dungeon. Now, here is the thing about second dungeons. Normally, you're meant to 
um, call up the Hunter Association and have them assess it before you go ahead and do the second dungeon. But Mr. Sung Chi Yu thought it was a great opportunity for everyone to get extra loot um, and discover something that not many people get to discover on a daily basis. And knowing how dangerous being a hunter could be, everyone was a bit skeptical about this decision. So in order to make this decision, they decided to vote on it. In the end, the vote was a tie. And the final vote came down to our boy, Sung Jin Woo. With my boy Sung Jin Woo being broke and having to send his little sister to college and having a mother who was bedridden, he had no choice but to go ahead and vote to go ahead. He had no choice but to vote and go into the second dungeon. As he screamed, I'm going to! Ju is mad at my boy Sung Jin Woo for voting to go ahead into the second dungeon. Guys, this is why Joe He is a wife, man. She used this as an opportunity to ask Sung Jin Woo on a date. My boy blushes up. Then finally, we reach a big door, which is believed to be the boss layer. Mr. Sung Chi Yu decides to push this door, which he thought would be a heavy door to push, but turns out to be easy as fuck. <laughs> In this room behind the door, there are a bunch of statues and one massive statue sitting on a giant throne. We get a closer look at the big statue that was sitting on the throne and everyone is praying to their God that this statue isn't the boss. As they explore the second dungeon, they find a statue with writing on it, a runic inscription. And on this runic inscription was some sort of commandments. And these commandments were, one, thou shalt worship God. Two, thou shalt praise God. And then as Sung Jin Woo was reading the second, Jo He spots something. She believes the huge statue moved. The third commandment, thou shalt prove thy faith. And at the end of those commandments read, those who fail to obey these commandments shall not be spared. From then on, that's when things went crazy. The door, which was open throughout the whole time they've been there before they read the commandments, had suddenly shut closed. With everyone in panic, one man decides he's had enough of this place. He says his farewells and attempts to open the door. Song Chi Yu, being the most experienced out of the lot, spots the danger and screams, Stop! Don't touch the door handle! Out of nowhere, one of the statues takes off his head, then immediately goes back into his normal position like nothing had just happened, like it's just a regular Tuesday. Now everyone is in shock because they've realized the statues can move. Even my man Song Jin Woo and Jo He, shocked and terrified. After finding out that all the smaller statues can move, they realize the massive one, the giant, the king of all statues that was sitting in the throne can also move. As Song Jin Woo looked at the massive statue, he recalled some of his past transgressions. So stuff like the first time he went on a raid and getting lost. The first time he was injured by an E-rank monster that left him hospitalized for weeks. And the first time he got trapped in the labyrinth all by himself, almost starving to death. Through all these experiences of him being in danger of losing his life, he noticed something about the statue. The massive statue's eyes started glowing. And being through countless danger, he instinctively told everyone, duck down. As he screamed, duck down, the massive statue attacks. The massive statue just destroying everything in its path. People survived, but not everyone survived. Johi is so terrified, she cannot move. For everyone's safety, Song Chi Yu tells everyone to stay down. However, that last attack left the leader of the raid, Song Chi Yu, one arm less than he started the raid with. They needed to figure out how to get out of this alive. And that's when they remembered about the commandments. Sung Jin Woo realized the God the commandments is talking about is the giant statue sitting on the throne. 